that it will not be enough to transfer public officers whose conduct has clearly gone outside the services they are going to provide and the public confidence has been lost because transferring such an officer is transferring a problem from one place in this country to another place in this country. So we'll find ways of dealing with that. But I have made it very clear today, and I repeat here, it doesn't matter the nature of the grievances we may have. We must decide as a country to resolve our grievances, be they political, historical, security grievances, administrative grievances, we must resolve them within the law, peacefully, and within the structures established under our constitution and the laws of our country. We will not allow members of the public to use the excuse that they are aggrieved to storm security facilities and try to undermine the facilities that differentiate our country from countries which are not run on the basis of rule of law, peace, and order. Many countries in Africa have disintegrated into violence. And you know it starts like that. You are aggrieved somewhere, you attack a police station, you, you take their arms, you free people who are in custody, you have a problem with an officer, you go and hurt them or kill them, we cannot go that route. Any member of the public who tries to access or violate the integrity of a protected area or a security facility will be dealt with in a very, very firm and final manner. We will apply the Constitution, we will apply the law of our country, and we will apply common sense. That behavior must stop. If you have grievances, let's resolve our grievances air your grievances. If uh, the OCS cannot listen to you, call the DIG. If the DIG can't listen to you, look for the minister. If the minister doesn't listen to you, look for the deputy president, look for the president. Look, let's find ways of having government attend to our problems. Please, fellow Kenyans, nobody in their right mind should think of trying to forcibly enter a protected area because it is against the constitution of our country and we will not tolerate that behavior. During the period under review, we have also established we have perhaps a final priority area of our national security, and that is climate change, which appears an environmental issue. But many of the problems we are grappling with security-wise, including banditry, are as a result of conflicts and this, you know, irregular movements of uh, people from habitual places of residence, and this is because of uh, the climate change. So we are mainstreaming climate change uh, 